Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange and welcome to a new video my friend. So in this video I'm going to check the options menus of Crisis Remastered. So I think this is something everyone is kind of interested because I mean, can it run Crisis? That's always the question we, we're asking. If you buy a new PC for example, all right guys. So I don't want to lose too much time. I want to make this a quick, quick, quick video. So therefore I would uh, recommend we checking now immediately here. We see we have the campaign options credits okay nothing interesting so we click immediately on options so we have game settings audio video settings mouse and keyboard setup and then i would say let's go in the game setting in the game setting you can make we weapon inertia inertia that's how it's called a uh, blood you can blood on off why is it my off? <laughs> That's funny. Classic nano suit mode I, uh, and suit shortcuts. I can't really tell you now what this is, but maybe if you have the previous game, you will know this. And subtitles, of course, cutscenes only on, on difficulty levels up to from easy, normal, hard to delta. So very cool. And then, of course, you can change different languages. All of those languages, most of the common languages. Obviously, if you like me speak Luxembourgish, then you will not find it there. Just kidding. Guys, and then let's go to the audio and video settings. I think that's a little bit more important. Of course, the audio settings you can find here. We can make the, the music a little bit less loud. Probably it was loud. Was it really loud? I don't know. Suit voice active. You can have a male, a female or or no voice suit voice. So that's always when you then click uh, on this on the specific suit option button and it goes up and then you hear this this voice. So. Uh, music, dialogue, volume, and then graphics, graphics, brightness, contrast, comma, corrections. Well, I mean, come on guys, you can really, really do a lot here. White heart, icy, blue heart, green heart, military green heart. That's pretty cool. Video mode, so it depends then on your screen, of course. So I only have a, a, a 1080p. Anti-aliasing, you can have the different options between uh, SMAA1, 1x TAA and then up to SMA 2TX. So you see it on the on screen. Full screen, windowed borderless, as always, different displays. If you have different displays and frequency, so how much hertz and VSync. And then you can scan scan also for optimal settings if this is something uh, that you need because you cannot really decide how it's going to run. I recommend you to just always start like this. Put everything the highest and then you go slowly a little bit down just slowly a little bit down and then here we see now for example we have texture quality so i for example uh, change all settings yeah here you start first change all settings low medium high very high can it run crisis so this is the highest it's like ultra and then you can go for texture setting objects quality shadows quality physics quality shaders ray tracing ray tracing that's i mean I'm sure ray tracing was not in the original uh, crisis. Change all settings too. I just talked about this. Then we have an HDR. I don't have an HDR screen. I can't show this to you. Then we have an experimental ray tracing boost mode. Pretty amazing. I don't have a ray tracing graphics cards now. So unfortunately, my friends, I can't really show you this. So I'm very sorry about this. But this video is not to show you then how it looks. Uh, I, I, think, I think there are several other videos that, that do this better than, than I do. This video is mostly to show you the option settings before you purchase this game that you really, really know uh, what you can expect on this side. Then we have vol volumetric effects, game effects, quality, possible processing so very high is always the highest you see here it is uh, here you can choose five different here can you only four ah, um, at this point I always want to say that sometimes you can uh, tweak those games with the any settings and then you can go mostly even more uh, filigran uh, more into detail and even higher or lower than the the in-game options menu it allows you this is some this, it's a sort of, of modding let's say it like this then vegetation, water quality, particles, very nice. DLSS also off since I'm not supporting this. And then motion blur, that's really weird because I was putting motion blur the last time already off. So, and then you apply it. Very nice, I apply it. So I, I put it off the last time, so hmm, didn't save. So I hope it saves, but I hope it saves always. 
So, and then we go back, and this was the most important one, the audio video setting, and then I, we come to the mouse and keyboard setting. So it's, uh, uh, you have distinct uh, tabs here, look, move, weapons, interaction, vehicle, and VTOL. I think, yeah, I think it's, it's it gives you a lot of options, and also the ma different mouse, uh, the, the, the X, the, the more than the th classical three mouse, keys can be used so for example mouse 5 for crouching it's one of the side buttons or prone also one of the side buttons yeah and then we have invert mouse simple iron sight smooth mouse that's good if you don't like it i for example i really don't like smooth mouthing advanced sensitivity settings this means uns this gives you mouse sensitivity for vehicles and for the aim downside. So I turned it on and then I can change the sensitivities. I recommend you to 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 really uh, 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 di directly go to half of the of the uh, of the bar uh, for the sensitivity options that you then definitely have uh, uh, yeah, that you mu much faster when you move the mouse. But it's that's your deal what you want. So crosshair, different crosshairs we see here. So even no crosshair, <laughs> some pretty cool stuff. So I, I think that's my favorite one. So, and then here you can choose, as I said, as you wish. Then with the weapons, melee attack, F. So I, I always change them for, uh, for how I like to play first person shooters, but you have a problem. Some of those cannot be doubled and you have the impression, so it, why, why would it not be doubled in this case? So then it will tell you this is a double key and you have to change a key. So here definitely that's a bit old school. I don't like this oh, to be honest, because I had to uh, put, for example, some really weird keys like drop weapon or custom, customization menu on X. So I really, really don't like this, but overall I think this should, or a granite tape toggle Z night vision N, yeah, change weapons G. Uh, six a uh, six not g so this can could be made a little bit better but overall i'm sure you can find the way how you uh how you prefer having your keys so veto vehicles interaction look mode all right let's go back and then controller settings i don't have a controller uh, attached right now so i don't see them i can just click very quickly on my controller to turn it on then i can also show you the controller settings so it's charging ah here controller connected so and now we can look at the controller settings so vibration invert aim assist and also sensitivity can i change them no you can't change them so but i guess it's, it's more or less basic controller settings oh and that's back and let's go back and that's it so all all you need to know about the crisis option menu and if you click on campaign for example then you will continue from the last checkpoint new game select mission uh, so i just started the first contract i've just started the game so and there's a little uh, disclaimer i got this game for review purposes for free but yeah i'm not giving you a review actually about this game so i'm just telling you how the options what options exist so i hope guys you enjoyed this video and uh yeah if you did so so please leave me a like button subscribe to my channel i also make a lot of giveaways and then i would say see you the next time bye bye